More foam. More foam. More foam. More foam. However, Chef isn't happy with the consistency of the foam and decides he has to step in. It's no good. It's no good enough. Yeah, give me a plate quickly. The other one was too liquid, yeah? And don't put too much. Next time like this, please. Show back, show. Despite guidance, she's still not able to get it right. And after a shaky start, Samia has to try... No. Try... No, it's not. It's too much. ..and try again. No, it's too much. So if you keep on going like this, you could under like a bag of... I'm getting annoyed. I'm not getting the presentation 100%. David is in charge of the fish main, Icelandic cod with leeks, caper berries and lemon broth. A popular dish on the menu that's ordered straight away. Get me that ready straight away, yeah? Right. He has to move fast. The cut of on, on time. No McDonald's here, yeah? But in his haste, David doesn't let the oil heat up, so the skin on his fish is soggy. No, no, it's really. You take this one, it's not done. Okay. No? Skin is f soggy, yeah? yeah? It's not nice. Sure, bags, very hard. Gary has been given poulet noir, blackened chicken with sweet potato puree and Swiss chard. One poulet noir, one cod, yeah? Yes, sir. But he's struggling with his mash. It's too much. It's, it's too dry, huh? He didn't put any butter. I need more mash, yeah? It's really fast. Give me a pan on. No, 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 yeah? Sometimes the mash isn't very good, but I don't know because I haven't worked here before, so I have to change the mash quick, quick. And uh, you, get, you go behind a bit. You need to start speeding up, yeah, seriously. You put me in this <laughs> Okay, how long for the ravioli down? Samia is on a starter of wild mushroom and chicken ravioli with a sep cappuccino foam and char grilled asparagus. I want it nice and foamy there, yeah? More foam, more foam, more foam, more foam. However, Chef isn't happy with the consistency of the foam and decides he has to step in. It's no good. It's no good enough. Yeah, give me a plate quickly. The other one was too liquid, yeah? And don't put too much. Next time like this, please. Show back, show. Two ravioli in now. Nice form this time, yeah? Despite guidance, she's still not able to get it right. And after a shaky start, Samia has to try... No. Try... No, it's not. It's too much. ..and try again. No, it's too much. So if you keep on going like this, you could under like a bag of... I'm getting annoyed. I'm not getting the presentation 100%. It's halfway through service, and Gary still can't get to grips with his mash. Give me a new plate. You're too slow. You need to really step up. Yeah? You need to push more. Not like that. No, no, no. David, however, has finally perfected his fish. That's good. Nice and crispy, the skin, you see? Then it's nice to eat. Otherwise, when you have soggy skin, you can't eat it, OK? So have his pick up, 31. It's a bit full on at first, and then you get more used to it at time. And Samia has mastered the tricky foam. Yeah, and it's much better than before. OK, 31, pick up. Samia, very good, yeah? They find themselves the new favourites in the kitchen. But there's disappointment for Gary, who still hasn't impressed. And yet again, his mash ends up in the bin. Service over, and the contestants have served over 65 covers. Time for John and Greg to hear from head chef Raphael Nabolon. What about Gary? What's he got to do? Needs to keep, keep the head together. It was just like, start getting confused. He cocked me up the mashed potato as well. Samia, during service, how was she? She needs a little bit more self-confidence. In the beginning, with the form, she didn't get that right. But during the end of the service, she really started picking up. And David, how did he do? Uh, David did pretty well, actually. I was quite surprised. The first few cuts he did, the skin soggy, not really cooked like the way he should. But towards the end of it, he got the thing spot on. Which one of those guys would you employ? I would employ David. I think he has the biggest potential for me. Now they're straight back to Master Chef HQ to cook their best two-course meal. Yesterday, Samia's dessert was a hit, and after a shaky start, she shone in the restaurant. Can she now impress with the food she knows and loves? David's ambition helped him produce a winning dish, and he excelled in the kitchen. Can he make it three in a row and become a winner? Gary impressed with his simple fish cakes, but he struggled in the pro kitchen. He needs to pull out all the stops to stay in the game. Now is your chance to prove to us what absolutely amazing cooks you really are. One hour starts now. They have to cook a two-course meal of their own design. 
only one will win a place in Friday's quarter-final. David, tell us what you're cooking for us. Lemon risotto with seared sea scallops and a plum and almond tatin with creme anglaise, or custard. I think this is all about safety. Looking at your recipes, although nice, I think these have been worked out with timings in mind here. Well, that's always going to be an issue. What would you say to someone who said your dishes are competent and not exciting? It's what I like to eat. It's simple, well done. Good on you, David. David has impressed, but he still must make two perfectly finished dishes. David's worked out his timing. He's been very, very safe in his courses. He's worked out what he has to do. You see, that's the thing with David. He's going to manage to do it, but are you excited by it? Gary is risking his dream on classic dishes he hopes will win over the judges. Gary, what are you doing for us? Uh, for me, main course, I'm doing duck in orange sauce with um, potatoes and figs, me dessert, it's a uh, chocolate and toffee fondant. There are many flavours and textures going with this duck. It's only a little bit on the duck, the rest's on the dressing as well, on the, on the salad leaves. Who taught you this stuff, mate? <laughs> I just, I just taught myself. I watch uh, cookery programmes all the time, and you pick it up off them. Like, I love duck, and I, I like it with Orange Shaw, so I know it's an old classic, but, you know, it's an old classic for a reason. Gary is main course with that duck. He's got honey going on there, balsamic, figs, and fried potatoes. My mind can't even imagine the flavours, let, let alone my taste buds. But the guy cares. He really, really cares. He wants to do something. He wants to change his life. You've got five minutes left. Samia wants to wow with a menu from her French-Algerian background. I'm making a chicken tagine with uh, lemons and uh, olives. And I'm making a, a tarte or prune with uh, plums. You're using spices? I'm using saffron, um, coriander, a um, bit of cinnamon, not too much. This is the food you love. Um, tagine, North African, plum tart, very yeah. French. We're going to get great food today, Samia. I hope so. 20 minutes ago, Sammy is rolling out the pastry for a tart. There is no way in the world she get the pastry cooked and the filling of that tart made. No way in the world at all. One minute, guys. Right, that's it. All done, guys. All done. David has made lemon risotto with seared scallops, followed by plum and almond tart tartin with creme anglaise. The amount of lemon in that risotto is more than I can bear. And lemon and cheese is a combination I'm finding a little bit difficult here. Mm, possibly it requires a bit more thought. What, what can I say after that? Scallops gone completely. The texture's there. I wish I could taste it because I love scallops. From Maine to Pud. Your pastry's good, your fruit's cooked, I love the crunch of the nuts. It's your custard that's too sweet. The pastry needs to be cooked more. The plums need to be skinned. I think it'd be a little bit sharper. I wish you had taken a bit more time just finishing it off, because you had the time. Gary's main is roast duck with fried potatoes and fig, followed by a chocolate toffee fondant. Duck's lovely and soft. It's well seasoned. The richness of the fig with the duck, absolutely brilliant. I just think you've got to make your food a little bit more attractive. There's far too much salad. The duck breast should be the star of that plate, and it's ended up as a walk-on part. I don't think potatoes and figs work together. Don't need it at all. The duck's perfect. Well seasoned, crisp skin, the potatoes parboiled, soft. It's just tip-top. I want you to believe in yourself a bit more, Gary because you understand the technology of food. I just want you to understand that you're competent. Should we move on to your pudding? Yep. Soft on the outside, full of chocolate. The toffee's not quite strong enough as a flavour. It's still, it's still more chocolate. Combination good, good idea, but it's not Moorish. Why do you want to do this, Gary? In the last couple of years, I just wanted to be in cooking. And, and, like, today, like, I've just had a smile on my face all day. It's been brilliant. Loved it. 
Samia has made a chicken tagine with lemons and olives, and for dessert, a French plum tart with cream. It's Moorish, it's interesting, it's well balanced, it's well seasoned. I think it's delicious, and it should be delicious because it's your food, and it's the food that you grew up with, and I think it just shows in what you cook. I think the flavours are absolutely right. I think it looks scruffy. I don't like the flabby skin on the chicken. I'd brown it first. Right.